Hi everyone, Sandra from Scraps to Beauty, and you're here for Smash Up Sunday. How are you guys? <laughs> Brenda, saving you from Netflix overload. <laughs> oh, I just had a busy day, just barely got here in time. <laughs> I even forgot to post this afternoon. I usually try to post. <laughs> Hi Brenda, I'm Ugana. Oh my gosh, I'm like oh, tired. Can someone teach the class for me? <laughs> Uh, so we're gonna um i have a few books to show you books i hope Jeannie's not here yet hi mitz mitz <laughs> um and then we're gonna finish uh doing some more envelopes tonight again only thing we're gonna try to use other colors i didn't use i didn't use the purple so we'll have to see what goes good with purple looks like lime green maybe we didn't use the red so we'll try to use the red Hi, Janet. Hey, Bunny. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> oh, it's so hot here. Oh, my God. It's been like in the 90s for the past two days. Oh, it's hot. And lime and purple. Yep, that's what it looks like. Lime and purple. Maybe a little blue. That looks good. This has got the little blue blue butterfly and that and then for the red I don't know I'll have to decide what to do with the red later we'll start with the purple though today and we didn't use the green either so uh, it's warm yeah it is warm oh hot so I'll show you my books first and then we'll get going so this was of course you guys know I love the fairies and the mermaids so I saw this, and it's nice. It has already carbon paper in the back so that you can trace. So they have some really pretty um, berries. And they have the color wheel, which I need practice with. <laughs> so that was nice. Um, so let me show you what it has here. It does have a lot of, like, you know, tips and techniques and that kind of stuff um, for kind of a coloring book. But there's the first fairy right there. She cute the little wings and then there's this one that was on the cover I love this one on the mushrooms I like mushrooms too I don't know what it is about mushrooms but I don't like eating them but I like looking and drawing them <laughs> cute um, and then there's that one with the little kitty <laughs> yeah aren't they pretty this one's cute with the uh, snow, like a snow fairy. The wings are like weird. <laughs> Will you be playing with it in the stream? No, <laughs> I'm just doing my envelopes. I got to finish my envelopes. Maybe next week we could do it. I got to finish. So I have to do at least, at least 15 more. And then it gives you the pattern so you could trace them um, and do it. So, so that's my um, fairy book. And then... I love, um, you know, I love Tracy Batista, and this, doesn't this look just like hers? These are fanciful, fanciful faces coloring book. <laughs> this would be pretty to do, wouldn't it? And um, they give you some color pictures on this. Hi, Carrie. <laughs> um, but I like this one. It's got like seashells and stuff like that. Yeah, I just got this at Michael's, so they just have it at Michael's now. So they just got these in. So, but yeah, look at that. If you like that uh, Tracy Batista, this this is like right up her alley. <laughs> Aren't they cute? So I have quite a few of these books, of course, which I haven't even started. But I think I would start this one because of the fairies and the face. I like that one. <laughs> Must get that, right? Yeah, Fanciful Faces. And they just got those in, so. Um, and there's a lot. I don't know how many pages there are, but look at that one. Uh, show the cover. Yep. Mm -hmm. There. Can you see it? Creative. It's by Creative Haven. Find your fanciful faces coloring book. Can you see it? Pretty, isn't it? And then there's the back. And there's a lot, like, I don't know, but a lot. There's a lot of pictures in here. There's that one. Look at that with the hearts. I love that. <laughs> and that one. 
This one with the butterfly. Looks like butterfly wings. Oh, you got the information? Okay, good. That with the hearts again. This one, I love this one with the long hair. Isn't it pretty? So I'll have to start coloring some of these. My girlfriend's going to drive to Maryland, so maybe I will color, take this in the car and, and color some. But, boom, I like that. <laughs> yep, so that's fanciful faces. Yep, and I got my this at Michael's. And then I just started reading this book. I don't really journal. I mean, I've never kept a journal. I never kept a diary. Um, it just amazes me how people can get up and they write like five or six pages of what happened during the day. Or I don't know. I can't do that. So this is um, this is kind of like for the very very beginner, which is me. And um, I kind of like. So this one's called Journal Spilling. It's mixed media techniques for the for free expression. And this one's by Diana Trout. Diana Trout. And I like it because it is like, I, I never knew about, um, it, she tells you the same thing like mostly everybody's the supplies and, you know, your drawing. But um, let me see where it is here. Like she goes through um, setting up your palette, which I know a lot of them do. But she also talks about the brushes which I never knew what the brushes were like so the one inch she tells you what that's a wash the three quarters is a flat the round for you know pushing down and making points like I never knew what all the numbers were so I kind of like this book a lot so I started reading it and then <laughs> she talks about um, the inner critic of yourself and how to um, actually make that um, the inner critic um, like a real person so it's pretty funny what she um, has here. So she gives you different techniques, salt and crayon resist and all that. But um, but she wants you to actually like um, make a like make him like a real person or make her like a real person so like you can actually talk to her and stuff. It's pretty funny. Um, so this is what she calls it, the critic. And so this is what her critic looks like, more like a geek <laughs> and. Uh, so she says, sometimes my critic seems a little sad and lonely. And sometimes mostly he's just whining and annoying. <laughs> so I kind of like it. So I've only gotten up to this part, the critic's own page. But um, it's pretty funny. I like it. Um, so I didn't get to read the rest of it. So, But she goes on about how to make stitching on your um, journals. I like this. The I don't even know how to say that. Chinese uh suming gashi um so she tells you about that i've never known about that um origami all kinds of things stitching making a binding and stuff so i didn't get to read the rest of it but um i really like this part about the critic part so that was funny to me <laughs> so that was um it, it's a good book for me because, like I said, I do not journal. I don't write things down. So, <laughs> yeah, you need to draw your inner critic. Yeah. She says how you should put a face to it and decide whether it's going to be a boy or a girl and it, what it looks like. And then actually journal a page of him. So, like, when you're self-doubting yourself, you can actually, you know, if, let's say you gave the name of Stevie or something like that. You could say, Stevie, just leave me alone or, you know. <laughs> I don't talk to myself either. I know a lot of people talk to themselves, but I don't talk to myself. <laughs> um, but, oh my gosh, it's funny. It, it is funny. I like it. It's a good book. All right. So, what, what else? Anything else? <laughs> Draw your inner creative Yeah, It's funny. Right, and that's what she talks about, it being your worst own critic and, you know, what is what would your critic say? What's the most thing that he says to you? Like, does he go, oh, that's awful, or tis, tis, tis. I mean, it's pretty funny. <laughs> All right, so let me put this on. I really like this. This worked really well um, last Sunday. Um, I, the paint came right off. Hi, Ella. Uh, you still am you, in everything you do? What is that? You, you talk to yourself? So I'm going to put some of this on. How was your cabin trip, Ella? Did you get a lot done? 
Yeah, Barb uses it, and that's why I started getting it, and it, it does take the paint off. Oh, my gosh. I, I really, that paint came off like like a breeze. So, I definitely recommend it. Barb, yep, yeah, Barb uses it. Barb from Creating Faces. So, let's see. So, I bought, remember, of course, I left the other stamp downstairs. Remember, we did the flower last week? Um, so, I got a butterfly. I've got this one that looks like a little heart. Hi, Jay-Z. Um, and I've got a peacock feather. So, you can play with those. Let me get my envelopes. Oh, so, uh, and then remember we put the origami and then we couldn't even see the origami. So, I wanted to play with, um, and this one's way too busy, but <laughs> I wanted to be able to see, like, the stuff that we put on there. So, see here, you could see the origami here. And then here I put the um, dictionary paper. So... I mean, this is way too much, too busy, but, um, so I'm going to try not to get so busy tonight, <laughs> but this still came out nice. You love the feather? Me too. It was a wonderful weekend? Good. You have several prototypes for future projects? Oh, that's good. No, I still haven't found my Paris watch. I looked again today where I usually keep it. It must have either slipped behind something. I don't know. I can't find it. I almost couldn't find this one tonight. <laughs> so... So let's, these are the ones that we've done so far. And these are pretty busy too. So I think I'm going to go with like the first ones. The first ones are not really that busy. They've got like just a couple elements on it. So I think I'm going to try to stick to that tonight. Because these are, whew, there's a lot on these. <laughs> Compared to that. <laughs> so and then maybe we can do a few more. Like I have some texture paste. And so I'm going to try to keep it simple, more simple today. That's good. Are you doing more graduation? No, Ella, those of you who are in the chat, she streams on Mondays. Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> um, are you still doing graduation um, on Monday, Ella? <clears throat> Waiting to see what she says. All right, so I have, so I've only got one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10. So I need another 15 at least. <laughs> so hopefully we can get at least 6 done today. And then my girlfriend June's coming over tomorrow. So hopefully I can get some done tomorrow. We're going to practice uh, working with the jelly plate. Yeah, Ella streams on Mondays at 2 Eastern, I think. Right, Ella? If you have your um, link, you can put it up there. So we have that, that. We need some envelopes. We'll try to do one, two, three. We'll try to do three. These, oh my gosh, yeah, these I got at Hobby Lobby in the fabric, you know, where the tulip section is. I had the flower one, but I think I left the flower one downstairs that we used um, last week. So we're going to use these tonight. All right, so I have these. And don't forget to let tell me to do the flap tonight. Last week we forgot to do the flap, so we want to do that. Yeah, they're wooden stamps, and they're made just for paint. But doesn't this look just like a cupcake? Oh, my gosh. Every time I look at these, <laughs> it will makes me want to have a chocolate cupcake. So I'm just going to put some of this down tonight. I really didn't gather too much stuff. Like I said, I just barely made it here. I was just, like, busy today. <laughs> oh, you're on an iPad, so you can't post. Okay, yep. She's Create with Ella. Hi, Shady. She's 11, 11 Pacific time, so it's 12, 1, 2 o'clock Eastern. Yep. And are you doing graduation? I don't know if she has any more graduation, what she's doing. All right, and let's put some, I think I'll put some of this. Let's see if this will even show up because we are going with the darker colors. So let's see. I think I'm going to try to do six. At least six. I think we got six done last week. So we should be able to do six this week. Now you're finished with graduation. So what are you doing on Monday? Oh, you found it. Thank you, Brenda. Yep, that's it. Create with Ella. 
create with Ella. And she's only been streaming for a little while. Oh, you're making cards tomorrow. Oh, so that's good. So is it graduation cards or just any cards? So if you guys are interested in cards, Ella is making cards tomorrow. All right, let's just try to get these down quick. Oh, you're making other cards. Well, that's good. So we're not going to try to put too much stuff on these cards tonight. <laughs> Thanks for the, oh, was that you, Bridgeton? It's the hurry. I was like, oh my gosh, I couldn't get it. Because <laughs> I should have took the Mitzi off, and then you would have probably been better off. <laughs> oh, that's okay. <laughs> well, I so showed some books already. My fairy books, which I love. Fairies and mermaids. I love them both. I really have a lot of love for, like I said, I like the mushrooms. I like to collect mushrooms. What else? Hearts, you know, hearts are one of my favorite too. That's what messed you up. Sorry. <laughs> I, was, I was like, oh, I should have left Mitzi out of it. Hi, Pam. <laughs> I'm going to try to just put, oh, it's stuck down there. Try to get these done a little bit faster than we did the other night. <laughs> well, that's the only way you get to learn. You got to learn. <laughs> I usually like uh, I don't know what where the time went today I usually try to tweet around 12 that I'm going to be on and then I usually try um, like a uh, half hour before I try to tweet that I'm coming on to <laughs> Oh, and for those of you who are we're here Wednesday, oh my gosh, the octopus looks so good. It's all nice and dry now. So we'll be able to hopefully finish the canvas on Wednesday, I'm hoping. It looks so cute. All right, two more. Hi, Lisa. Oh, so you're not great with the chat either. No worries. So I think I'm going to put some texture paste on here too before we put any any sprays. <laughs> oh, you're so stressed. Why? Don't be stressed. Hi, Rain! Rain and I are going to, not only are we going to be in Maryland, but we're going to take a class in Massachusetts as well with Dina Wakeley. I'm so excited. All right, so now we have our MVs ready. We'll put some texture paste on here and then we'll put some color. So I'm just going to do something. These are just going to be simple. Just going to put some of this on here. And this. Take a deep breath. Yes. I'm going to be sick of you. No way. <laughs> it's nice. It's fun to watch. You know, we'll be able to see each other a month later, which is nice. All right. So I'm just going to add a little bit of texture paste here and there. I 
Oh, even the color's coming off on this. Oh no, your mama's stroke. Oh, so sorry. So I'm just putting them really quick. I think I need to move either I need to move up or closer. I think I need to move up there. I wish I could move my camera closer, but hold on. I'm going to try to see if I can get this just a little bit. I don't think I can get it closer. Where am I here? Hold on. Let's see if I can get you in here. Just a little bit closer there. There we go. You're really looking forward to it, Rain? Me too. <laughs> <sighs> exhale now yes me too I'm just like whew, it's like I was standing on my feet all day my ankles are swollen now and it's like oh I finally get to sit down <laughs> finally all right a couple more I'm really excited to play with the purple. I'm well, not a purple person, but I know a lot of the girls love purple. I have crankle cankles. That's what I do. I do. They're so bad. They look like my ankles. They're really bad. I, that's my girlfriend says, don't you want to wear capris? It's so hot. And I'm like, I would, but my ankles, oh my gosh, they look like I have a grapefruit inside them. They're so bad. Like after this, I'll have to put them up. <laughs> you want my hands <laughs> yeah my ankles are bad really bad when I was little I could never like do ice skating or I'd always be like pick me up I hated walking I've always had problems with my ankles flap 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 very good bunny <laughs> I have the flaps on there. <laughs> you do. All right, so we have that. We need to heat dry it a little bit. So let me get my heat gun. And I this is really loud. I don't know why my heat gun. I listened to one of the recordings the other day. I'm like, wow, this is loud. All right, hold your ears. It is loud, isn't it? It's loud because it's a really good heat gun. <laughs> I'll let the other ones dry because we'll have time to do those. <laughs> this is the envelope. Yep, I get these at Staples. Yep, they're only like 5 by 9 something like that. 5 by 7 Alright, so we're going to start with the purple. Uh, let's see. So, I'll we'll have to do two at a time. I have like hardly any room on this desk. So I'm going to shake these. Make sure you always remember to shake these. <laughs> Aw. Hi, Linda. Are your honeys home so the sound is low? <laughs> Oh, you have to whisper, yes. <laughs> Hi, card chick. <laughs> Happy Sunday. <laughs> Alrighty. So, let's see. What do I need? I'm going to use this. My 
I can't believe these are so expensive. I got lucky that I found mine at um, Hobby Lobby. So, they do have them at AC Moore, and if you use a coupon, ooh, that purple is kind of thick. All right, so I'm going to do like I did the other time, just going to spread the purple first, you know, here and there. Or maybe I'll do all three. So we decided purple, blue, and green. Is this why I can... Hi, AJ. <laughs> Just stopping in for a short bit. Okay. <laughs> Your purple gets like that too. It's like the purple and the pink. I don't know why that is. All the rest of them are okay. So let me do, I can do one at a time then because this is in my way. So I want to be able to um, see some of these, what do you call it? ephemera that we put on here so a little purple I'll do you love the colors yeah we picked the colors because of the cover oh the cover on my book Ugh, I don't know if I like that Kind of spreader thingy it's called a catalyst and they have them at um they have come with different um like different what do you call it edges and they're really good for the jelly plate because they're nice and soft i don't know if i like that that looks kind of ugh. <laughs> icb that purple and the green oh i don't like that ugh. <laughs> i think i have to wipe that off Let's see once we get the blue on here. I like the blue and the lime green, but ooh, I don't like that purple. I think we have to mix the purple with something else. I don't know what, but that doesn't look good. <laughs> What are we going to mix that purple with? That looks nasty. Yeah, but I look at when the purple and the green, is that the purple and the blue? That's, I don't like that color. Ugh. Maybe we need to do with, um, maybe orange. I don't know. What do you think? What happens when I do this? The purple back over that. I don't like the purple and the green mixing. What about the purple and the blue? I don't like those colors. Do you like those colors? Hi, Packer Die. Oh, no. You have two sick kids. Oh, no. Doctor tomorrow. I don't like that. What else can we do with the purple? How about purple and red? I'm not liking that. Let's try purple and red. Purple and yellow? All right, purple and yellow. Purple and yellow. How about putting some white on it? Yeah, we could put some white on it. <laughs> Cough, what happened? <laughs> That looks yummy. I like that red. Purple and yellow, really? Let me get a wipe. 
purple and yellow make brown. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't know what to mix the purple with. Let it dry and then put white. All right. So maybe we'll maybe we'll just go ahead and swipe the purple first on the cards and then come back. How's that? Let's do the purple first. I'll just scoot the purple on here. So we'll just put it in like a couple places. And then we'll come back. Sinus infection? Oh no. That'll give that time to dry. But we won't get the blending effect. The purple on its own is pretty. It's just like finding something to mix it with. Purple is favorite, Lisa's favorite. <laughs> All right, so we have down purple, we'll do one more. And then we'll come back with, I don't know what. Oops. Oh, that's not quite dry yet either. See that? paints are more transparent if I spread them with a baby wipe. Yeah, we could do that. Oops, hold on. You could use a pink and purple. Pink and purple would be nice. Yes, pink and purple. Okay. The only three colors you love them too. <laughs> All right. Pink would be nice. The hot pink. But then with what? Should we try the red? Should we try the red? Let me wipe this off. Let's try the red. It will work. <laughs> it does dry fast. It does. Then we'll just have to decide whether the color to go with these. He's kind of almost reminds me of a clown. I don't know why. <laughs> clown colors. <laughs> you touched it, Diane, <laughs> but you didn't get it. Oh, no. Red. One more red. It's the red that makes me think of a clown. <laughs> All right, we have to decide what other color we want here. You almost bought the lime green, but then you put it back. <laughs> 
All right, so that's the red. So should we go in with yellow, do you think, or should we go in with the pink? The lime green, you put it back. Should we go in with yellow or the pink? Fix Vapor Rub. Yep, I usually put that on my feet to stop the coughing. Yes, Bozo the Clown. Yes, good thing Carrie's not here. So should we go with pink or yellow? Let's go with the pink. Let's see what happens. Pink. The only problem with that pink, it's so gloopy too. Red over yellow. Try yellow over on your under paper first. Oh, to see what I get. Try the yellow first. I think I like the pink. <laughs> You cried during the whole show, Bozo? I never... I know some people... Those clowns never really scared me. Alright. I'll put this over here. So we're going to go with the pink. I think the pink. Hold on. Oh, hold on my chat. I messed up my chat. Hold on. <laughs> all right so what well, this one needs help <laughs> with the lime green I'm not a, just a purple person I think the teal maybe teal and purple we'll have to try that next the teal and purple Ugh, this is really gloopy Look at that. It looks like, ugh. <laughs> Let me get one that's dry, pretty well dried. The purple and the pink are nice together. I'm not sure about the red. Teal and purple. I think that's what we'll try next. The pink and purple I like. <laughs> Your pink doesn't look like that. Mine does. It's like it, it's like getting thicker every time. A lot of people complain that uh, something wrong with the pink. I don't know. What do you think? I like the pink and purple. I'm not wild about the red. But we've got to go with it now. Go with it now. We're going to try the teal and purple. I think that would look nice. What are we making? Still making envelopes. I need 15 more envelopes, so still making envelopes. We're just trying different colors. And I'm not liking this color. The purple and pink, yes, but not the pink and red together. <laughs> Once we maybe hit it with some stamps, might be better. Uh, can brushes be used with these paints? Yes, they can. But... I like spreading it with this. I don't know why. <laughs> I think because I don't know. Because I can. I don't have to worry about cleaning brushes for one. <laughs> 
So if we do teal and purple, then we'll need one other color, I think. Ugh, that's a hot mess, isn't it? <laughs> that's terrible. All right. So let's try teal. I don't know what I'm going to do about that pink. Ugh. Are your stamps still available? Which stamps? These stamps? I got them at Hobby Lobby. All right, so let's try teal. I've got two more envelopes. Teal and purple. Teal, purple, and the green? Like dark green? Teal, purple. So this is what it looks like. These three like that? The orange or the dark green? The dark green, teal. Purple and teal for sure. And then what other color? The lime green? I didn't like the lime green with the blue. Green. Green with the teal. Let's see. <laughs> Add pink? Pink again? <laughs> Let's do these two first and then we could decide what color we want to do the third one. How's that? Add pink? <laughs> we'll definitely do purple. Orange? <laughs> Purple, purple, teal, and green. <laughs> green and purple make brown. Oh no, don't tell me that. <laughs> green and purple make brown. Let's try. So maybe we'll do, uh, maybe I'll go with the teal first. How's that? The teal on here first. Orange and purple make brown too? Oh, what is with up with that? Everything makes brown. <laughs> Do green and blue? Okay. I liked when we did the blue and orange. That was probably, ah, I did the purple and look what I did. I did the purple and the um, blue. Darn it. Not paying attention. Look. Look what I did. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of brown. I know. That's what they're saying. Purple. <laughs> That's what that is. Purple. All right. Now I'll put the purple in here. Then we got to decide what the third color is. Those mix nice. You like that? <laughs> All right. makes like a darker like a darker purple 
Now think of the other color you want to put with this. You always refer back to the color wheel. I have to I have to look at the color wheel better. <laughs> I like that, the purple and the green the way they mix. <coughs> Excuse me. You love mixing color? <coughs> oh, I gotta get some water. Hold on. So think of the other color now we want to put with this. <coughs> oh. Try it first. Okay. <coughs> Hi, Liv. Okay. Keep going. Oh, keep going. My speed gun is loud, isn't it? It's really loud. <laughs> Thanks, Rain! <laughs> a little oh. <laughs> I always do that one more time hold on does work great all right so we're going with orange we decided orange usually my under paper is a lot nicer than that <laughs> looks like a mess today doesn't it <laughs> all right orange it is No on Wednesday nights? No what? <laughs> I stream no, she streams on Wednesday nights after me. Alright, so now we have the orange. Oh, that's pretty. Alright, so let's see how this works. You sure that's what we should do? Orange? Orange, yes. <laughs> okay, here it goes.
My favorite is the orange and blue. Orange and blue. There we go. <laughs> Your pink friend. <laughs> that was, that's not too bad. I guess once we put the other color and stuff on it. But I think I'll have to do the next ones with that blue and orange and green. I like that a lot. Oh, um, I showed it last week. They're little notebooks. I don't think I have it up here. Um, I'm probably putting my ATC cards in here. I'm going to sew them closed. And then I'll show you a second. Okay, there it is. Kind of a mess. <laughs> they didn't turn out too good. My very first ones, I think, were the best. <laughs> Color-wise. They're little, you know, like composition books. Well, they're small. They fit inside these envelopes. And then I took the Lorraine. Um, oh, I showed the designs last week. I got the little honeybees. I'm going to make little, um, what do you call it? Clips. The clip on there. <laughs> you missed it last week. Yep, I showed last week. All right. So there they are. Kind of not that great. I like the blue and orange. I haven't found another combination that I like after the blue and orange. So we have this one, pink and purple, and red, pink, purple, and red. Um, I might like this one. I don't know. Once we stamp it, I think maybe we have to add some a lot of white, I think, to this. <laughs> All right, so let's these dry. Hi, Darcy. <laughs> you like this mess? Ooh, that's a mess. <laughs> All right, so let me get out my stencils. And then we'll stamp. Well, I don't want to go crazy with the stamping. <laughs> so, let's see. Like this. <clears throat> I want to try to stick with... You know I like the hearts, so let's do those. Because I love those. So we'll do these. Maybe we'll do some of the circles. I don't think we did any of the circles. Um... We could try a butterfly, maybe. Butterfly. I love the flowers when we put the flowers on there. Her favor is the pink, lime, and orange. <laughs> pink, lime, orange. Uh, let's see. We could try the sunflower. I'm trying to see what else I have. <clears throat> flowers and some of you guys have a kitty cat maybe we'll do a kitty cat on one of them and I have the numbers all right so that should be enough <laughs> pink lime orange and turquoise <clears throat> are those your favorite colors Diane what I'm going to do is let's take this one and I'm going to put this. Maybe we'll put the kitty cat there. See how that works. I'm going to put this way. Oops, this way. What paper did I start with? They are white envelopes from Staples. White envelopes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold them in half and sew the edges up like this and then make a little pocket out of it. So they're just white office um, envelopes from Staples. All right, so let's see what else. We have the numbers. We'll put that on there. <clears throat> Maybe this star thing. I can put this away. Let me clean this off. Hold on. And what else could we put on here? Maybe the butterfly. So let's see. I'll do that. That kind of looks like the butterfly wings. Maybe I'll stick this one here. And 
we'll do that like that okay so I think I'm gonna spray because I think that's what I like best so I think that's what we'll do let me just get this out and then this is the um, fabric spray from tulip And then we could still stamp here and there. So let's see what this looks like. <clears throat> I'm going to do the white and see how that works. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Did you see where it sprayed? <laughs> what happened to that? It's shooting out like a... Why is that doing that? <laughs> it's like a... It's not like spraying. Look at it. <laughs> it must be clogged. <laughs> Look at that. No, it's why is that doing that? <laughs> oh my gosh. It doesn't work like a spray. <laughs> Shoot, I gotta spray something else on there now. <laughs> I'll have to spray a little black on here. Alright, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this one and put this one right on top. It looks cool though, yeah, but look at the way it doesn't spray right. Why fabric spray? Um, they were, um, it was a whole neon set and a lot of people spray with them. So I got the set and then, um, because they're permanent too, they're not um, water soluble. So you could go ahead and spray on top of it and they're um, permanent. And you can get, um, I think I got, I forget how many of them. I think they were like $19.99 and you can get, um, you know, use a coupon 50 off. So you get all those sprays for like $10. Oh, that looks good. Look, the kitty cat looks really good on there. And the butterfly, that came out good. That one didn't work too well. Let's stamp this on here. Thirty dollars there, Linda? No, they're only nineteen here, and then you use a fifty off coupon. <clears throat> and well, it's not bad, but <laughs> that white is not supposed to do that. And then see this. Even on this spray, the dilution's pink, and I don't know why it's only the pink comes through the white. It didn't come through the purple. It didn't come through the red. Only on the pink. <laughs> so, all right. So, now I need another white spray. That's not going to work. All right. So let's put this one down. I'm going to put some more of these hearts. I love the hearts. Oh, I forget. I'm going to close it this way. Does it close this way? When I fold it, it's like that. Yeah. So I love the hearts. So we're going to do the hearts. Maybe we'll do some of these circles. I'll do one of these flowers. Alright, so let's try that. See how that works. Oh my god, you should see all the white that is all over the, all over my desk. Oh my gosh. Uh, maybe I'll put this sunflower on this one here. Let's see. I 
I'll have to use this black again. I have to see if I have another color. And then we'll take another envelope. Go on top of that. Those sprays are what you use in your painting? Really? And then we still have, I think, two more envelopes to do. Plus, I want to put some white on there. So we'll stamp some white. I love the hearts. Oh my gosh, look how good that looks. Even the little circles, that came out pretty good. So definitely this needs some white. And then, let's see. Let me see, where's my other envelope? Maybe we can get another print out of this. I'm going to get out of that. Maybe into this one. There's that. I don't know if I get one out of here. Yeah. So there's that one. Let's see what else we could put on this one. So that one's not too bad with the black there. Hi, Robbie. Hi, everyone coming in. Anybody I missed saying hello? Looks better with the black on top, doesn't it? I like it. Yes, it's permanent, no fading. Thank you, Linda. Yep. All right, so we need to do something else with this one and this one. So we have these other two to do. So I think... I'm going to put the heart on here again. Maybe I'll just do these on that one. Let me just keep that one simple. I'll try to do the cat again. I like the cat. I'll stick it this way. All right, so let me stick these in the water. Get rid of this. All right, so I'm going to spray this one more time with the black. Hi, Robbie. Oh, it's Colleen. Okay, hi, Colleen. Okay, here we go. Ready? I want to get a lot of the black there so that we can get um, all right so I'm going to I think I'm just gonna take a white envelope and see what happens when we do that so let's do that I'm trying to think when I close this I want this to be like this you prefer SEI sprays but you can't get them there anymore how come that just the black and white isn't that cool the black and white came out good we well, still need some extra ink on this one so maybe we'll do some more stamping on this one not too bad the black and white looks cool doesn't it okay so I think what we'll do is we'll do some stamping with that one 
Yeah, that black and white one looks cool. Look at it. Yeah, the black and white. We'll have to do a couple more of those. All right, so let me get a wipe. Ugh, look at that. Ooh, my hands. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm going to be so bad. I'm telling you, I'm going to be so bad at Maryland. They're going to be talking about me. <laughs> constantly wiping my hands, constantly wiping my stencils. <laughs> Who needs a jelly plate <laughs> when you can do this? What stencils are you using? These are all, um, these are Tim's stencil. Um, these are dies that I cut out of Fun Foam. They're Tim's um, splats and splots, I think it is. And it comes with um, the heart. It comes with this and comes with two others. It comes with the um, splot. <laughs> all right. Let me get rid of these. All right, so let's try this one. I love this one, and we'll do the butterfly. So we need this, and we need some black paint. Oh, you know what I have? Let's try this. This is chocolate brown metallic. How about we try that? Chocolate brown metallic. And this is folk art. It's called, yeah, chocolate brown. Is it more metallic? Maybe it isn't. It's just chocolate brown, I think. Oh, no, it says metallic. You're going to steal your... <laughs> you're going to steal my baby wipes? <laughs> I'm bringing, like, three tubs of baby wipes. Maybe even more. <laughs> oh, it's like, oh, my gosh. You should have seen me. Was it last week? Last week I was go cleaning... I must have spent 15 minutes cleaning my stencils. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're going to kill me there at the, at the retreat. <laughs> and I'm going to bring a bucket. I'm going to put my stencils right in water next to me. <laughs> all right, let me just shake this. Look at that. It went all over everywhere. <laughs> Look. Oh my gosh. You've seen bucket. I have a bucket here and it's got all white all over it. <laughs> All right, so what did I cut my sponge? So I'm just going to pour out some of this. Ooh, that looks nice. <laughs> Tell us how many we have to look for. <laughs> I should get my little squishy thing underneath here. Hold on. Where is that? <clears throat> oh, I have it over here. I need to bring a baby tub. <laughs> I am bringing a baby tub for mine. <laughs> oh, look at that. Can you see it? Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> I am. I have this. I'm going to bring this orange tub. I'll show to you. I have it right next to me. That's what I'm bringing. <laughs> oh, that looks pretty. Can you see the metallic in there? Joe's up. <laughs> See? See my tub right there? <laughs> That's what I'm bringing. <laughs> that is pretty. I love these stamps. And the nice thing is because you can use them with paint. They're made for paint. <laughs> they are. They're going to be like 
they're not going to be happy with me. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't wait to see what, when we do the jelly plating tomorrow. June is going to have a fit. <laughs> That's pretty. I like that. That looks really pretty. You put your feet in what? <laughs> I'll share my top. Yes, of course. That is so pretty. You guys can't see the metallic too well. That is pretty. And we have to get some white in there, I think. And we also have to, like, see what else we got. All right, so that's one. Let's try. Look at baby wipe. <laughs> Every time I reach your baby wipe, you guys are going to be like, stop, stop it. I hope this tub lasts me. I only have just a little bit. I probably have like about eight sheets there. <laughs> and see how nice it cleans up? Look at that. Nice. All right, so let's do the butterfly. Let's see where we can put the butterfly one on. So how about if we put it on this one, the white and black one? Let's try that going to be hard to bring the tub uh oh when you're flying true yes yeah, so I'll make sure yes I'll share mine of course I got the stamps at Hobby Lobby they look like this they're called fabric creations and you use a coupon. If you use the coupon, you get them for like four bucks. And they have all different kinds. I tried to look for this one. I didn't see that one there. But they have an elephant and they've got flowers. Oh, that's pretty. You see that one? I wish I could get this shine to, to show up. Metallic light to shine. Yep, Hobby Lobby. And it's in where the tulip fabric um, paints are. Because it's made for um, putting uh, scarves. And you like the feather? I like the feather too. I think this metallic would look good on the dark one too. We'll put it on there. Um... I don't want to put it on the cat's face. I need a piece of paper, though, underneath here. Here. <laughs> that's going to look nice on that. So that's the white and black. I have to just dry this one just a little bit. So hold your ears. Hold your ears. Let me get it. Okay, heat gun. Now, Hobby Lobby. Yes, Hobby Lobby, yep. Yeah, I got it at Hobby Lobby, yep. 
supposed to be pain in your ears. Ooh, the what is the pain? The um, heat gun? I know it's loud. All right, so we're going to put some more metallic on this. See that? That looks pretty on the... Oh, now you can see it. There it is. That looks pretty on that. I wonder if I could get this so I could get the rest of it on there. I'll have to put some more paint on there. I want just this part. Let's see if I can get this on here. Yeah, not bad. So you can reposition them pretty easy. <laughs> oh, Linda. Linda, what's your favorite color? I need to know that. Oh, now you can see it on that dark. On the dark there, you can see it. <laughs> and then we'll do that last one over there. Not a pain, paint. Oh. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's pretty. Pretty. Now we need to throw some white on that. So what else I need? Let's try this one. I'm wipe this one off. Needed, what are the best pen markers for writing on paint? Um, I wish Paula was here. I think it's the sharpie you could use a sharpie we could use um i think the football what's it called i want to always say football but it's not it's the feud f-u-d-e i have a sharpie and what else we can use the sharpie tonight and i have the white um the sh paint markers this one is fine point so we use those paints and yeah paula would be the one to um to, to advise you on that. Food ball, yes. Paula's on um, Saturday and Wednesday. Um, ask her and she'll tell you. Big crystals work? What are those big crystals? Can you get those at Staples? I never heard of that. Big crystals. Are they colored or black and white? Oh, that's cute. You see that? There's the metallic. Scarlet line pens. Oh, yep. Make sure that your paint is dry before you go on there. Just a plain old big pen, but they call them big. Cr oh, it's just a plain big pen. A gel pen will work as long as the paint is dry. That's pretty. The copper on that dark is pretty. Four and one more on this side. And then I'll have to see if I have any... I'll have to get some white paint. I think we need white. <laughs> see? Look at that. That's pretty. Now you can see that shine on there. <laughs> Alright, so we have that. We have that. We have this one with the peacock feather. 
So we need to put some on here. We'll put some on this. Put some on here. Oh, this home? My daughter's home, and the dogs are like <laughs> having a fit. Can you tell? <laughs> That's how they are. You'd think they were getting murdered the way they scream. <laughs> yep. That's what happens to your puppies. Yeah. Especially my one. The other one, she's kind of quiet. But the other one, oh my gosh. The Yorkie Malt uh, Maltese. Forget it. She is loud. <laughs> she's very loud. <laughs> Alright. So we have these two still to put um, put stuff on. Alright. So we have metallic on. Oh, three. We have three to put metallic on. So I think I'm going to go back to the feather. I like that one. I wish I had the flower up here. I don't have the flower. So. Oh, we could put some of these on there. Let's see this. Should we go with black or like white? I'm afraid the white is only going to turn um, pink on that pink. Um, so let's do. Oh, you know what I've got? Let's try this one. The black metallic. Black metallic. You like the pit pens? <laughs> what happened to the puppy? Nothing. My daughter came home from the beach and so she, the one dog is like screaming because she's excited that she's home. <laughs> yeah, she has a real high pitch. All right, so let's try this black metallic. You can't find them? What can't you find? Your Maltese? Yeah. My one Maltese. Well, they're both part Maltese, but um, one is a Poodle and the other one is a Yorkie. And the Yorkie is the one that's really hyper. Oh my gosh, that girl is like, <laughs> she's too hyper. I thought it was a dog bite? No. <laughs> When she screams, you think like she's getting murdered. <laughs> Alright, so let's try this. So this is black metallic. Let's see what that looks like. Hmm, just looks like black to me. Oh, I'll mix it with this gold and black. Um, did you see... Ooh, um... What Patty used with the china was like black ink and it turned silver. Oh, look at that. Can you see that's like coppery gold black. Bye Sandy, thanks for coming. I think I need another sponge because I'm just mixing it with this. There's still a lot of gold metallic on here. And we can't really tell what the black is like. There's another one. Black. I'm going to do one more on this side. There we go. So it's more um, the uh, copper and the black mixed. So let's try just the black. i got to switch sponges. I should have another sponge here. Yep. So now we're just going to do the black. So I'll do this one. It doesn't look metallic-y to me, though. It just looks kind of like charcoal black. Well, maybe when it dries, 
it'll be metallic. Let's see. It's nice and dark and black, but I don't see it metallic like. pretty but not very metallic that I could see all right so what should we do on these let me see oh I gotta get my wipes out sorry <laughs> another wipe I gotta clean this I think I may be some white on that water I should just put this on here like I should have put this on the other one it does have some kind of shine to it but I don't know what it is you love the signo pens yeah all right so we need just one more with something on it and then we'll need some white I think so we need just to do this one. So, but with that, that's what I'm saying though, with that white, what can we put on there? I wonder if I just, I think it's going to just come through with the, um, with this even. Let's just see. Where is my knife? Knife, where is it? <laughs> Where'd it go? There it is. I don't think I can go over with that. Let's see if I have another stencil I can use. I might just put some of these on there. But I really think it's just going to the color is going to come up through the bottom, I think. So we'll see. We'll see if the color comes up or not. And like, I don't want to get too crazy. Like that one's kind of crazy already. <laughs> Alright, I think we have color on everything. So what we need, oops. Maybe we just need some pen work now. Gotta clean my knife. <laughs> All right. I'll just get rid of some of this. It does have like sparkliness to it, that black. I don't know if you could see it or not. All right. So, let's see what we got. We have that one, it's cute, just white and black. We have, this is the one we just put the texture paste on, so I wanna see if that changes. We have this one, we have to put do some, and these, we definitely have to do something on these. And then this one. So I don't know, maybe just some white with our pen. Let's try that to see what happens. 
Maybe just some doodling around. Oh, we should do the cat so you could actually see the cat. Well, did I shake this? Punchinella helps everything. <laughs> I have a hard time seeing this black. I'm trying to see if I could see his whiskers. I'd like to do his eyes. <laughs> there, there he is. <laughs> can't really see his mouth or anything so I'm gonna come around these circles and then maybe around the heart Yeah, the white gets just like makes everything pop like. So we need another circle here. I'm trying to see if I find oh, here's another heart. look better yep with the white let's see what else we have here another circle let's get another circle so that looks good so now when oh see now this cat is upside down is it oh no it isn't so now when we fold this and then I still have to ink them too <laughs> so see how, how cute it looks you can see only just one eye on there and then you can see the other side so it looks good right the kitty so that looks pretty good we're gonna have to add some maybe dots and stuff like that but it's coming along so let's try another one what do we have on here let's see we can do the hearts again find another heart here looks good right once you add the white on there I think it looks really good let's see if we outline these butterflies It just makes them pop, right? And then now we can just keep doodling if we want. Like I could probably go with dots along here. It does make them pop, right? Hi, Joyce! What are you doing up? It's late for you, isn't it? So I want to see if there's another heart here or not. One, two, this I think is another one here. Q. 
cute. Coming along, coming along. Oh, we have this sunflower on here. If I can let's see if I can get the shade of this. See that? <laughs> Hi, Miss Giggles. <laughs> They chase each other and they grab oh they're puppies <laughs> so that's not bad so I can go ahead and I'll do one more I think with the butterfly I'll have to do this one too Now that looks good, right? So when I fold this one, let's, where's my bow and folder? Ah, stuck. Maybe next week, I wanted to get them all done before I get my sewing machine out, but maybe I'll sew a couple of them next week so you can see what they look like. When they're folded in half, how cute they look. Go there, look at that one. So I like them a lot. All right, so that's two. And then we still have to um, ink the sides. Let's see. So it did stay, still stayed white, so I'm surprised that it stayed white. Let's see what else. Oh, let's do this one here. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. This probably has to be black. Let's try the black. And I don't have a real thick pen. I think I only have this one. Let's see what happens here. We can do our cat. you <laughs> so now it's just a matter of just playing with the envelopes and stuff like this one will look really good once we ink it where's my black oh, my black <laughs> black ink of course I don't see it hold on a second Oh, I don't have my black ink. Here it is. Look at that. White went all over everything. <laughs> Look at that. I think these are all the new ones. Where is my black? Blue? Huh. No black. Where is my black uh, distress ink? It's got to be here. Brown, red. <laughs> God, that's a mess. <laughs> that's a mess. Yellow, blue, no, purple, no. Well, maybe I have enough on here. It's on here. Let's see. No, oh, there's enough. All right, so let's fold this one in half. That one looks like. Let's 
I like the kitty cats. It's too bad it's going to be covered, but you can still see one eye of them. <laughs> That's not bad. The black and white. So that's that one and then these are still a little bit wet they definitely need white I think I'd like to put maybe something else on this one some white but what let me see what else I have here I have tempted almost to use that white again Let's use the white again. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Your oh, it's very calming to me. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> You're coloring in your Paris book? Oh, good. <laughs> Hi, Aunt Maggie. I didn't see you. Come in. <laughs> All right. We're going to put a little bit of white in here. The white just way too. Uh -huh. That white is just too much, though, isn't it? The way it squirts all over the place. I wish I could clean this out. See if I have a, a pin. I don't have a regular safety pin or a regular. Everything you type, you end up typing. <laughs> what? Everything you type, I end up typing. <laughs> oh, Pam and you? <laughs> All right, so let's give this another try. <laughs> nope. Oh, it's spraying a little bit better. <laughs> a little. <laughs> a little bit. I'm going to come right in here with this white. Ooh, look at that. That came out good. Not too good on that, though. <laughs> Not too good. <laughs> look at that. I wonder where is my baby wipe? Baby wipe again? <laughs> I'm gonna be running out here tonight. Let's see if we could just take a little bit of this off. I wonder what would happen. Can I wipe it all off? Oh, I can. Look at that. You can wipe it right off. There we go. Not bad. Now it lightened it up a little bit. Still have a headache? Oh no. Hi, Susan. <laughs> All right. Tell me where is my black distress? Alright, so that kind of faded out my copper a little bit. So I think we'll have to go back over with that with some black or something. A little bit of black. Maybe I will put... I'm getting too much, too much on there. Well, let me fold this and see what it looks like. Let me fold this in half. still see you can't see the coppery much as much anymore so I don't know it needs it needs something help <laughs> and then I'm gonna put some more black black with what stencil maybe this one hold on I gotta dry this it's all wet I'm going to put some black. Oh, there we 
we go. Just a little bit here and there. Skittles. Now you guys are talking about Skittles. That looks good. Give me more black. I like that. That looks good. Three. Four. We need one more. This little corner here. There. Look at that. That brightened it up, didn't it? Oh, we could do some stamping. I forgot all about that. Well, who else, what else needs? Maybe we'll put a little bit of stamping on this. I forgot I have my foam stamps, too. I could have done. cold. <laughs> Who's going brr? <sighs> so we have about another 15 minutes or so. So I think we need to take our white pen again. This is not, not quite dry. I'm just going to go. I better wait till it dries or heat set it. Maybe we'll wait on that one. Let's do this one. This one is dry. Have you sewed? No, I haven't sewed any clothes yet. Cause I wanted, cause I have to pull my sewing machine out. I just the other day went over there and like cleared everything off of it. <laughs> so now I have quite a bit. So maybe next week I'll show you some that are um, that are sewed closed. They're looking good. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Yes. Next week I'll, I'll get my sewing machine out and we'll close a couple of them. I don't know if I could do it on stream. I don't have all that fancy technology like Barb. <laughs> but I'll sew a couple and then I'll show you what I'm going to put inside. Um, so... It looks good with the white once you start adding the white and stuff. So I think it needs still needs a little a little something. But they're coming along. Let's fold this one and see what that looks like. Well, I did a cricket. Cute. 
cute. I like this side. This side looks good. All right. Let's see what else. So we did six tonight, so that's good. So I only have like another six or so to go. So, and I think when I use this white pen, I think they look like they're starting to still look at the orange I think is coming through. It's probably, you can't probably see it. Colleen, there's another Colleen. So we only have one of those flowers, but we do have the hearts, so let's do the hearts. that one another one here yeah so next week we shall probably do something else next week <laughs> um because i'll have all my envelopes all done hopefully so i don't know maybe we'll do something in the journal maybe we'll do something with the fairies Doesn't that look good when it pops with the white? I like it. Maybe we'll do, um, we'll use uh, Dina Weekly's, um, or Weekly's um, paints next week. It looks better with the white. Yes, I'm making these for Maryland. Yes, I will show them. Yes, I'm going to show them next week with them Ugh, sewn. Oh, I have more black paint on there. Ugh. Let me get rid of that. <laughs> yes, I'll show you what I'm going to put in them. And when they're all sewn up, I'll show them that. All right. I wish I could find my black ink pad. I just don't know where that is. Isn't that strange? I usually have it right on top of my... There it is, hiding! So let's ink these two now. Because they look so much better inked. This one's a little busy. I wanted to keep them kind of simple and I... I still went overboard. So let's fold this one. See? Cute. <laughs> Stop and putting the rest of you to shame. Sorry, CB, but you don't have to do it. All right, let's go ink the rest of these and we have one more to do let me do um the white i think the white around this black flower will look really pretty and then i'll ink the rest then i'll show you those and then it'll be almost time for us to go <laughs> i think these will show up oh let's do the kitty here i can do the kitty on here It's hard to see his eyes. I think they're right there. And then his whiskers. I want to make his little nose. <laughs> his mouth. <laughs> there. 
there he is. <laughs> you love the flower stencils? That is from, um, that's not, uh, what's her name? That's not, um, Julie Balzar. This stencil is from, um, Stencil Girl. It's, she's called Stencil Girl, and she has the flowers. Yeah, I like these. This is, um, kind of like from, I think Tracy Batista uses these. I like the flower ones. Oh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? I like that one. You never knew how to spell. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, CB. All right. I like these flowers. I had the envelope, so I was like, I think maybe we need to put two. This looks better with two. You love Tracy stencils. I ordered a couple more. Um, hopefully they'll come next week and I'll show them to you. She has a couple of, I think a couple of new ones. The flowers look good on here though. I like the flowers. I should have added something else. Oh, here's the heart. Let's put the heart in there. The heart. And then that's it. I'm going to do two on this one. And then we'll fold this one. Let's ink this one. I like that. That came out good, I think. And this was the red and orange I didn't like too much. <laughs> but this doesn't look metallic. Remember, this is the black metallic? It doesn't look metallic at all. It looks shiny down in here, but it just looks like black paint to me. the kitties upside down. So I'm going to have to fold them that way. That looks good. <laughs> we got two on that side. So what else? Did we do them all now? Let's see. So we did that one. We have that. This one, white and black. This one, I want to ink. So I'll also show you I'm going to be doing jelly plating with my girlfriend June. We're going to give it a go tomorrow, so I'll also have to, um, so there's that one. I'll show you those two next Sunday. So this Wednesday, hopefully I'm going to finish my octopus um, canvas. So you'll see me paint that up. It's coming out so cute. <laughs> Hi, Marilyn. <laughs> oh, we didn't put any white on this one. I'll have to put some white on here. And I didn't fold this one. So let's fold this.
that one looks good not too much stuff on this one there we go so let's put some white on here I'm thinking maybe I should do outline the feathers How's that look? You like this one? There we go. How do I have to make? Um, I think I'm making 25. So I think I've made now, what did I say I had before? 12? So I think, I think these are six. I think I have to make like six more. So let's do this one. I like the white and the black. I like that, the way that shows up on the flower. hard for me to see that shininess. Let's see. Uh oh, some of that's still wet. It looks nice with the black and the white showing. Oops, still wet. See how that pops? Look at on that side. See that compared to this side. I like that a lot. So now this was the one, though this one is one I liked with the orange. That one looks good. I think that's my favorite. <laughs> that's my favorite. I like that one a lot. Okay. So let's see what else do we have. Do we ink them all? Nope. Damn. Two more. These two. really like that one me too <laughs> that was the favorite one that's the one without well, that with not so much color I think and not so much it looks better when it's not so <laughs> jumped up <laughs> it's like this one is just kind of more plain I like that one a lot and this is the same color as that So I think when I use the purple, I like that combination, the teal, purple, and the orange. I remembered the flaps tonight. You're right, Marilyn. I did. <laughs> so did we get them all? Let's see. So these are the, these two I think these are the best. This one's the best one. And then I like that one. The color combination I like. This one didn't turn out too bad now that it looks like that. I think it just needs a little bit maybe more black. And then this was a surprise. This one, the white and black and the copper. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Joyce. Um, I like this one. I like the ones with like the big black flowers. So that's what that, that one's nice. This one's nice too. 
coppery like but now so this stage still white but this looks like it's changing I don't know if you can see it you might not be able to see and you'll take any you don't like <laughs> okay, Lisa. but I like I like them better even when they're folded up like that see how much I don't know maybe because you don't see as much but well at least I have some purple now for some of the girls who like purple <laughs> So like I like this one look how nice that looks with the black and that I like that and then this one oh this one's cricket too that's cute it's just kind of plain white and black the copper shows up really nice on this one that looks oh there you can see it now <laughs> that one looks good but once again, this is the favorite. Favorite one of tonight is this one. <laughs> is that one. That one looks really good. That's my fave. And this one's good too. That collar combination was the best tonight. So there is that one. And that one. <laughs> Hi, Peggy. So I think that's it. So I think maybe next week, let's see. Either we'll do something in the journal or maybe we'll do, I don't know, I'm either going to do something maybe with this. This was pretty nice. You agree with me? <laughs> or we, I don't know, this will be take a long time to do this very, plus I, don't, I want to practice first. <laughs> so I don't know if we'll do that. But we'll do something in the journal, maybe something more like this. <laughs> oh, Marilyn girls, aw. Don't worry, Linda. I will send you one, too. And then there's my book. So I'll have to draw my critic. Maybe I'll do that and show you that next week. <laughs> so do you guys have any other questions? How many more do I have to do? Let me see. Um, let's see all the ones I've done so far. So we have how many tonight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I have like eight more to do. Seven. See, these are my favorite too. That blue, orange. This one is one of my favorite ones. <laughs> um, so what did I say? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So yeah, another eight. <laughs> you had a good time. Thanks. Thanks, Shady. Thanks for coming. <laughs> What am I going to use them for? I'm using them for Maryland. And what I'm going to do is next week I'll show you. I'm going to stitch these. I'm even thinking about maybe unstitching. I mean, ungluing this. And maybe actually stitching like in the middle here. I don't know if I'm going to do all that. But I'm definitely going to stitch the sides and something on the flap. And then um, I have a little composition book that I'm going to stick inside. Um, and probably my ATC cards. So, yeah. So that's them. Yeah, these two are my favorite right here. These two. Those combinations. So Tim's, that's also, he comes with that um, splat in his die. I'll have to bring it up next week and show it. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Hey, Gilly. So don't forget Wednesday, I will be doing my octopus canvas if you guys are interested in seeing it. Um, yep, tomorrow morning I'll be with Dee Dee, although she was on today, so. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Kay Burke. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that came out good. It was fun doing. I mean, playing around and for me to get used to the different colors. So, thanks for coming. Have a good week. <laughs> what if I cut the top? Yeah, I could cut the top. Or I could even just tuck the top in like this. You know, and tuck it in. But I'm going to sew it here so that I'll actually have two pockets. So, in this one is going to be the little composition book, which I don't have up here to show you. And I might stick my ATC card in there. So, thanks, Danny. <laughs> All right. Good night, everyone. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> Bye. Have a good week. See you at Dee Dee's tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>